Hello students, once again welcome to Bholanath Academy. In this video students, we are going to see the what are the Van der Waals forces and we are going to discuss the various type of Van der Waals forces. Now students, first question is what is Van der Waals forces? All molecules exert a weak attraction for one another due to mutual attraction of their electron and their nuclei. The mutual attraction between electrons and their nuclei this is largely but not completely compensated by electrostatic repulsion by electrons of one molecule to the other or the nuclei of one by the nuclei of the other and the resulting weak attraction between the two molecules it term as Van der Waals forces. So this is the definition students what are the Van der Waals forces it is the attraction between one electrons and the nuclei of the other atom. When the molecules are close to each other Van der Waals forces of attraction become significant at still smaller distance the repulsive forces may come in action now what happens is they are very short lived intermolecular attractive forces which are believed to exist between all kinds of atoms molecules and ions when they are sufficient close to each other Van der Waals forces are much weaker than both ionic and covalent bond. These forces may also be present in polar, non-polar and completely non-polar molecules. Now students we are going to see types of Van der Waals forces. First type is students dipole-dipole interaction. These forces are found in polar molecules having permanently polarity in them. Dipole-dipole interaction. When polar molecules are brought near each other these are the polar molecules students when polar molecules are brought near each other they orient themselves in such a way that positive end of one dipole attract the negative end of other dipole and vice versa so this is the positive end of one dipole will attract the negative end of the other dipole molecule these are all our polar molecules understand it? now when you see the energy students that is energy of attraction will be minus 2 mu raised to 4 a upon 3 times 4 pi epsilon 0 to whole square kt where t is what temperature now students where a is called constant which depend upon the number of nearest neighbors and t is what absolute temperature dipole dipole interactions are also known as kensum forces that is also called as what kensum forces these forces are very weak predominant in the solid to feeble in the liquid it is affected by increase in the temperature it is affected by what temperature now students one more type of van der waals force that we are going to see that is called as ion dipole interaction so one will be the ion other will be what dipole polar molecules are attracted towards ions so dipole is what polar molecules are attracted towards ion the negative end is attracted towards cation and the positive towards anions this type of interaction is called ion dipole interaction so some time they ask me what is ion dipole interaction so this way you have to write ion dipole interactions have been used to explain dissolution of nacl in water so water will be what dipole and nacl is what ions so ion dipole interactions example is what dissolution of nacl in water then nacl is put in the water it dissolve in it since negative end of hydroxyl of water hydroxyl of water molecule dipole affects the around the Na plus ions and positive end up towards the around the chloride and understanding students so here is students when you see ed equals to minus 2 alpha mu square upon 4 pi epsilon 0 gamma raised to 6 where ed is what db forces the force of attraction will be this way you can represent mu is called dipole moment of the polar molecules gamma the distance of the separation and alpha is what we hear the alpha alpha is there students that is called polarizability of the non-polar molecules now students third type of force we are going to see Van der Waals force that is called induced dipole induced dipole interaction this is also called as London forces we are representing with EL EL stands for what London the molecule of substance like iodine and inert gases are non-polar and have no initial dipole moment initially these iodine molecules are what not having any dipole the Van der Waals forces exist even in such a non-polar molecules like fluorine oxygen molecules nitrogen molecule etc or non-polar monoatomic gases like organ helium neon etc which was explained by london in 1930 on the basis of quantum mechanics 2m is what quantum mechanics according to him 
electron in neutral molecules keep on oscillating with respect to the nuclei of the atom understanding is electrons in neutral molecule also they are what keep on nuclei with the help of the nuclei of the atom so at any instant the positive charges may be concentrating in one region while negative charge will another region of the same molecules because of the introduction of nuclei the these charges will develop positive as what negative thus neutral molecule is momentarily self polarized and may induce a dipole moment in the neighboring molecules resulting in the induced dipole so this way dipole is introduced in the neighboring molecule that is why it is called as what induced dipole that is they have induced the dipole the total magnitude of the resulting landon interactions energy is given by el that is el equals to minus alpha square i upon 4 gamma raised to 6 where i i is called ionization energy ionization energy of the molecules so this way students we have seen the wonder world schools and its type these are very important for the examination point of view if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you